All right, so uh, I know what you're probably thinking, and it's probably three or four questions. The first one is, what is this video title? The second one is, why is he in his car? And then the third one is, what the fuck is he wearing? <laughs> so let's explain all three. So I had this idea with my uh, editor recently where we're gonna make things pretty fun for you guys. So leak content's been getting a little boring recently. And honestly, I haven't been having fun, honestly. Because the problem is that with leak content, you're kind of forced to interact based off what other people do, right? Like if some guy in your solo queue game says something crazy or does something crazy, then you get a good video. But if he doesn't, then the video quality isn't really there. So the issue with leak content in general is just that there isn't really much way to make every video engaging. So what me and my editor decide on doing was we're gonna be doing a challenge video where essentially I'm gonna buy something and depending on the amount of deaths I'm gonna get, we're gonna be punished accordingly. What we bought, <laughs> or what I bought, off uh, Amazon actually. I need to move my big bottle to get it. So what I bought off Amazon actually was this. And it's a period cramp simulator device. Because I'm going to be honest, you know, you always hear women going on about how periods hurt and how it's painful and all that stuff. But every guy knows that getting kicked in the balls hurts more, <laughs> you know, like re real talk. So what I decided to do is I was like, what if I bought a period cram simulator? And with the period cram simulator, I can actually see what it's like to get my period. I hate driving in the winter. Because the problem with driving in the winter is that when you have ice on the ground and you try braking, Sometimes the brakes just don't go off, right? So then you're just sliding and no. Nah. I haven't gotten into an accident, been driving like four or five years, but thankfully I've said I'm good. But anyways, so uh, yeah, so we got a period cram simulator that uh, later on in the video, you guys are gonna see I'm gonna be using. And uh, the way we're gonna dictate the intensity that's gonna be on, you're gonna see. But let's just say that I spent a few hundred dollars on uh, Amazon. I spent a few hundred dollars on Amazon over the last few days getting a bunch of stuff ready for this challenge. And I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So that's question one, right? Which was, what is this title, right? So that's what it is, it's gonna be a challenge. Now question two is, why are you in your car? This one's a little more complex. So I was watching recently a YouTuber that, that's been doing insanely well. Probably the fastest growing creator I've seen in years. Sam Sulek, okay? And his videos are just so simple. Where it's just him in a car talking, doing his workout, and then the drive home talking, you know? And it's like cool, you know? You get to hear this guy's monologue and all that stuff. And the thing about me is that when it comes to stream, right? I've always been able to kind of like talk about stuff or things like that. But when it came to YouTube, I was never really able to, you know? Like I was never able to really express myself on YouTube the way that I am as a person. I'd be able to do cool hype videos, but I've never really felt that, I guess, connection to I am my YouTube channel, you know? Because I'll react certain ways and I'll like act in certain ways or say analogies that are me, right? But it's like at the end of the day, you don't really know who exactly I am. If you watch a Dr. K video or you've been watching for years, you probably have a good idea. But for the people that have just started following recently and maybe you saw a few uh, videos about the JMO arc or you saw like one cool video that I had done and then you started subscribing since then, you don't really know me. So the cool thing about this is that what I'm hoping to do is I'm hoping to really give you guys more of an idea of who I am, you know? And that's the reason why I'm in my car. 
you know just chilling in my garage just bought this new lamborghini here type shit you know so that's why it's just i feel like it's going to be cool that i'll be able to actually give you guys intros i'll be able to actually talk to you guys as you and not just as like stream rips where you know i'll stream for like 10 hours and then 30 minutes is a good video and then you guys just see what the stream sees like no this is like this is on youtube you know it's like i'm recording for youtube i'm not just streaming and then having my youtube channel as like a secondary right which is also the thing i like a lot because it gives me more attachment to my youtube you know so i, I like this idea but the thing is there's a part two to the question right because the question was why are you in your car and the answer is because my internet's been fucky recently and i don't know why because in my house no one has internet problems no one but for some reason me whenever my network gets a little overloaded or something all of a sudden poof like my stream just dc's for a few seconds and it's been happening constantly over the last few days so i'm going today to this uh electronics store um which is like near the gym where i just finished my workout right and i'm gonna be getting a new ethernet cable because the ethernet cable that i use for my pc it's uh it's old and i think that's the reason why that i've been having issues just because the ethernet's too old right so the good news is i finished my workout at uh 9 50 and this place opened at i think like 10 and it's 10 10 right now so i'm gonna put my jacket on run in really fast grab the ethernet cable and then when i get back i'll answer question three Ugh. Okay, got the ethernet cable. So the thing about the internet is that I got this new PC not too long ago, right? And everything works perfect, everything's fine, but, and there's no issue with my actual network itself, so that's the reason why I said it has to be the ethernet, you know? But uh, anyways, what was I saying? Well, before I said what I was gonna say, it's just kind of funny, because uh, as I was getting out of the, um, it's called Best Buy, our electronics store here. And uh, as I was getting out, there was a guy who was in a car with uh, two girls, I guess, maybe his friends or something. And uh, he like got out of the car. He's like, hey, could I get a picture? <laughs> you know, that's what's kind of crazy to me is that when you start streaming, you know, and or you start YouTube or whatever it is, and you get like five views, 10 views, stuff like that. It's like, wow, you know, you're it's crazy to think that stuff that you put out there is going to be viewed by people you know that people are really going to sit there and they're going to watch you they're going to watch the things you're putting out there the stuff you're doing it's, it's crazy and the fact that nowadays i'm as big as i am on every platform right um like twitter tiktok shorts like twitch everything youtube it's insane to think that there are actually people out there that watch me every day you know and that there are people out there like you guys watching the video right now that will be watching me the same way that I used to watch other creators when I was younger, you know, that might view me in like a different light that might sit there and say like, wow, this guy, you know, like he made it, he's this, he's that, but it's like, at the end of the day, I'm just a dude, you know, I'm just a guy who found a passion with streaming and found a passion with content creation and was able to market myself in a way where now people know who I am, right? But it doesn't make me any different. Like, I'm not any better. I'm not any different than anyone else. I'm just, like, a guy who drives his uh, drives his grandma's old car that he bought from her, that uh, plays video games, that has, like, a family, has a dog, goes on walks, you know? Girlfriend that will sometimes go on dates with things like that. You know, it's like... I'm just a normal guy, you know, like a normal 20, what? <laughs> I forgot how old I am. <laughs> you know, that's the crazy thing. If you're above 20 years old, you know what I mean? When I say that you forget how old you are. The second you turn 20, are you 23, 24, 25? You don't know, you forget. But I'm 21, 21. And it's just like, I'm just a normal 21 year old guy, you know? And it's crazy to think that, you know, the, that there really are people who they see my stuff every day, it makes them laugh, makes their days better even. Some people out there that hate me, because <laughs> they'll see I say something crazy and they don't agree with it, and 
like, oh, I'm, I'm the God's worst person. It's like, oh, okay. I mean, it is what it is. But uh, it's insane to think. It really is. It really, really is. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just crazy. Because that's the thing, too, is that there are different types of, like, content, you know? You have, like, you have, like, Twitch and Twitter. And that's, like, the people that are on those platforms a lot of the time are the people that are always online. But then for things like YouTube, TikTok, right? All these, like, short-form contents, this is more so a thing where the general public watches, you know? Like, even your 40-year-old co-worker who's never opened up a video game in his life, he might watch a YouTube short, you know? That's what I mean. Or, like, an Instagram reel might show up on his feed because these are, like, the general... Uh, the general social medias, you know? And that's why it's, like, it's funny because by investing as much as I have in, like, uh, short-form content especially, right? Because I spend upwards of ten to 20000 a month on just, like, editing for short-form alone, right? Insta Reels, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, all that stuff. And by it, having that investment, it just makes it so that now I can, like, be in, like, a country... Right, whether it be at home right here in Quebec or like in the States, right? Or like maybe uh, doing an EU climb in Germany. And I'll have people that will say, hey, I know you. <laughs> you know, like, it's crazy. But that'll lead into my third point, right? Why do I wear what I wear? Why did I wear this today? And I'll tell you the crazy thing. Is that I've been wearing this same stringer, this yellow stringer, from the time that I first started lifting when I was 16. Because when I was 16, I'd actually asked for tank tops and stringers from my, my aunt as like a Christmas gift. And I got them and I never like grew out of them, you know? So I'm wearing the same clothes I've been wearing for the last five years now. <laughs> and I just like it, you know? It's like, I, I like revealing clothes for the gym. Not necessarily because to like show off my body or anything, but just so that when I can like look down, just so that when I look down, whether it be while I'm doing an exercise or looking in the mirror, that I can see my body and that I can see it working and all that kind of stuff, you know? So that's why I like it is because it's not to like show off, right? Because at the end of the day, I'm so insecure, you know? I look in the mirror and I think I could look better, but it's just more so of a thing where I can really sit there and I can be like, this is my muscle moving and like really have that mind-muscle connection. But um, yeah, so the reason why I said that leads into my third point is because it's just funny because I remember being 16 and having like an Instagram that had 100 followers and you know, you get 30 likes on a picture and you're like, holy shit, this one got 35, this one got 36, you know? And then it's crazy because then over time, you sit there and you kind of like grow to a point where <laughs> it's just like an insane amount of progression, you know? But uh, anyways, gonna be pulling up to my home soon, so I think I'll probably call the monologue for today. Um, but no, it was really fun. I, I've never really done this before. I was able to really talk to YouTube like one-on-one, -on -one, so if you guys really did enjoy it, I, I mean, I hope you did, because I'm probably gonna be doing more videos of this in the future. Uh, but if you guys did enjoy it, the monologue, then let me know. If you guys like this style of content, let me know. But the video is not over yet because now we're actually getting to the main part of it, which is the one death equals one period cram challenge. So in a few seconds, you'll see me in my room, right? Right now I'm still driving. In a few seconds, you'll see me in my room and uh, we'll get started on that. So I'll have more of, I guess, like an intro for that video then. But uh, it should be a lot of fun. So anyways, see you guys soon. All right. So I know what you're thinking, right? Probably thinking to yourself, how are you going to determine what ELO account you're playing on? And how are you going to determine the intensity of the period cramps, right? That's where this video starts. I've actually spent $300 on probably the most important purchase of my life, honestly even more so than my PC, more so than the RP that I've spent, everything. The most important purchase of my life is this, a spinny wheel. Wait, listen to the sound. Boom. 
So I have a little marker here and we're going to make it so that since the period cramp thing isn't really too intense of a challenge, at least from what I think, uh, we're going to be putting more higher ELO scores than lower ELO scores because the higher the ELO that I'm playing in, the more deaths that I'm going to have, obviously, right? So we're going to minimize the chances that we play in low ELO. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to make it so that Low elo is going to be yellow. And then what we'll do is we'll say that playing in diamond is going to be green and red. And then the rest of them will be high elo, right? So uh, the highest elo account I have right now is my Doanel account. That's, I think, about 300 LP masters, something like that. So we're going to be putting an H for high elo for that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, perfect. Now again, I'm gonna say it. I don't think that period cramps are that painful. So honestly, even if I get high low here, I won't mind. So now we do the big spin, get ready. And I'm gonna make sure that you guys see that it's taken in one take so you know that I'm not like messing with the spin, okay? All right, we're spinning. High elo. Perfect. So high elo means highest difficulty. So we're going to be playing on our highest ranking account, which means highest difficulty for the period crams. So now what we're going to do is now that that's out of the way. So I haven't opened this box yet at all. It's still completely new, completely fresh. And we're going to see kind of what is in here? So a little unboxing. So it's an easy at home and calls it a pain relief device, but that's not actually what it is. It sends shocks to, I guess, like relieve pain, but it also simulates the cramping itself. So we open it, you guys can see fresh, freshly opened. I guess this is the user manual. And then we have all of this. So literally gonna look like Frank and Son once I, once I start running this. Oh, nice. It comes with batteries as well, so we can start. We can get started as soon as possible. So, for the setup, we have all of these things. I don't know what any of it does, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the, manu the user's manual for a few minutes, and then I'll kind of let you guys know where we're at, okay? Oh, that's a bit interesting. So, apparently, you're only supposed... <laughs> apparently, you're supposed to attach it to your shoulders or legs. But what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna attach it to our stomach because that's where the periods occur. So hold on. Okay, so now the period cramps are in. So apparently we have to put it there. Okay, so now that that's done. One eternity later. Is it working? Well, I think it's, oh my God. Oh my, it's working. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. It feels really weird. Hold on. Let me up the intensity. Ah! Oh, this feels weird. Ah! Wait. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. No, you guys don't understand. Okay, because I put on the massage thing, right? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, like... I'll put it to six. Hold on. Oh, my God. Ah! Ah! Dude, it's like... Okay, oh my god, okay, ah! Ah! this is so weird, this is so weird, oh god, no, <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, it's on, oh shit, okay, so like, cause, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll explain to you guys what it feels like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, okay, so it's like, uh, it, it's like when you're in a car, okay, and it's like, on a bumpy road. That's what it feels like. Hold on. Hold on. I'm a masochist. I'm putting it to 10. Look, I'm putting it to 10. I'm putting it to 10. Why not? Why not? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is so weird. Oh. Okay, wait. What about beat? What if I put on beat? What does beat do? Wait, it's like electromagnetic pulses. Alright, so now for the main part of the video. We are currently logged in 
to the main Doanel account that is currently 250 LP masters. But the thing is, it has like 500 LP MMR, something around there. So since I can't play at the same time as I'm going to be doing the whole period cram thing, what I'm actually going to be doing it is I'm going to give it to my girlfriend. So she's just going to wave right now so you know she's real. She doesn't go to another school. And she's actually going to be the one controlling it. So uh, the way it's going to work is that since, again, I really don't think paired cramps are that bad, she's going to set it to the highest setting possible, so it's going to be on a 10 setting permanently, okay? And the way it's going to work is every time I die, she's going to be setting it to the max setting, and then doing a combat. <gasps> okay, can you wait? Wait! No! No, man! Stop, 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 stop! Wait, wait. It's... No, stop. So, the way it's going to work is, like, there are three settings, right? You have, like, um... <laughs> Wait, can you do something actually? Can you like stand up so they can see the wire? That way they, they yeah, exactly. Yeah, like that. So the way it's going to work is that uh, she's going to be doing a combination of the Ned, uh, Beat, and uh, what, what's the other thing? Because that's three things. It has Massage, Beat, Ned, right at the bottom. So what she's going to do is she's going to put on max speed if she wants. The periods are probably going to last... How long should they last? 15 seconds? Every death? No, till you're alive again. Till I'm alive again? Yeah. So every time I die for the death timer? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one's going to be fun. We're going to make it so that the every time I die, I'm going to have a period until I respawn. So now all we... <gasps> Yo! <laughs> Stop! Ow! Fuck! No, turn off, turn off, turn off! And you know you need to use both dials, not just one, right? Why? Because if you only do one, it's only two. You need to do four at... Yeah, you need to do all four at the same time. Because oh. they're like... <gasps> okay, okay, not now, though. Not now, though. <laughs> not... <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Ow, fuck! Because just so you guys can, like, make sure I'm, like, actually hooked up to this. Like... Yeah, so they have Graves, they have Thresh, Jin. Okay, we just need hope they don't go like Camille or Silas. Please no Camille or Silas. Just go like easy to kill champs. Rengar? Ah, nice. So you're telling me I decide to queue up on my main account, <laughs> and I see Grandmaster Borders, and I know for a fact that the enemy Rengar is a consistent challenger player. Okay, I mean, if anything, what I can do this game is I can just do like full clear top to bot. But the only thing is he can level 1 invade. That's the reason why I'm just like hovering here so I can like make sure that he doesn't. Mmm. Darius probably shoves in Mordecai's early so there's no point trying for an early gank. There it is. The only way this goes bad is if he insta backs off and then goes for his bot side. If he like insta backs off goes for his bot side then it's fine. Why is Graves like chasing? Kind of weird plays huh? Wait, tell me Rengar didn't start my red. What? Did he start his red? Oh my god, I could win the game here. Oh, no. Okay, so he started blue. I mean, that's like, really awful for him, though. Like, he's starting blue to what? Full clear towards bot? But it's like, if he tries full clearing towards bot, then... Yeah, good luck, bro. That's all I'm gonna say. Good luck, little buddy. Finishing this with Q. That's a jungle diff right there. <gasps> I almost died. No! No, 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 no. 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 I said almost. I didn't actually die. I gotta reset though. No way I can actually fight that. Yeah, Rengar's gonna be going towards. I mean, even if Rengar gets crab though, I'm not worried. I don't want to contest crab because if I do wolves into Gromp, I get level 4 and I invade him on his raptors. Rengar's bot? I mean, Vars has flash. He never gets this kill. Yeah. Enemy mid shoved up super far. This is the freest kill ever. I'm not gonna lead with my... Oh, I will. I was gonna say I'm not gonna lead with my E instantly. But then he, like, messed up. Perfect. Nice! Okay, so the good news is up to now we haven't died. So, A. We're getting pretty lucky. 
I'm not experiencing cramps this game. It's looking a little crazy. No! No! Turn it off! No, stop. <laughs> stop! No, I actually turned it off! Ow! Stop! No, no, it's not funny. No, turn it off. That's not part of the challenge. Ow. Okay, well, wait until I die for the first time. No. Yes. It's boring. <laughs> I don't care if you think it's boring. I it's the see pain. It's the challenge. I don't care. Your challenge, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what I'll probably do now is I'll probably look for maybe enemy topside and made it, and that will be okay. Nice. Maybe honestly, just dragon. We have bot prowess, so it's looking really good for us here. Yeah, because our bot can move before the enemy bot, so that means we have numbers advantage for the objective play, so we'll just play for that. Just gonna pause, pop my ghost and get on him right away. I had to die. I had to die. No, no, I had to die. Okay, don't make it too intense. Okay. <laughs> that one doesn't even hurt. Oh my god. It literally feels like your insides are getting ripped apart. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! I like this game. I don't. I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like Can it. Can we do this more often? I d m maybe if the YouTube audience really likes it and they get it to 10k likes, I'll do a part two. Actually, wait, no, that's way too low. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said it already. No, 50k likes. No, 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 no. Please don't like the video. It's actually painful. Please like the video no. so I can have more fun. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh. Okay, we just see our team to like commit to this here. I don't think they can contest this. Oh no, dude. <gasps> no! Why did I get on to Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. like your stomach is getting like rolled over <laughs> like ow I love it <sighs> if you don't want it then stop dying <laughs> shut up <laughs> oh my god uh, I mean wait are they gonna try chasing if they do maybe I can like come in with alt no. You know what? I'll just invade his top side because I have ghosts and alt up here, so it should be fun. Oh yeah, where, where's your where's your flash all now, little bro? Where's your flash all now? Yeah, where's your flash all now, Mordekaiser? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, you want to give me a period cramp? Enjoy the death, little buddy. That's what I thought. And now the good news is the friend guard tries running in this jungle since it's Chojin versus Dusk. I'm like 90% try one. And if he doesn't, I get his entire top side for free. I'm only up double this guy's farm. How crazy is that? I'm up 11 camps, but I'm only up one level. Yeah, jungle XP is uh, looking pretty uh, pretty strong in this patch. Got to get right Freak on the nerf hit list right now. He's got to get the nerfs going. I think we just insta-kill this guy as soon as he rocks back to lane. Perfect. Good. Yep, Rengar is on my bot side getting literally nothing. Enjoy. 
Ugh, gotta take a sip off the chug jug. Okay. Yep, we saw Rengar topside, so I don't even need to use my ghost for this. Actually, maybe I do. No, Var skills him. We're good. Alright, now we just play drag. We got second drag. The game is looking one. Is he on Grom? Nice. Even if Mord ults me, he's dead. He's only level 8. Oh, just finally hit level 9. I don't want to walk up if Rengar is swinging this bush. I'm instant killed. Yep, see. We just avoided 40 seconds of period cramping. Oh my god. I'm smurfing right now. <gasps> no, 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 no! <laughs> Ow! Stop! That's not part of the game! Oh no, you can't you can't just randomly do that when when you feel like it. That's not the yeah, challenge. Someone died. Just like you. <sighs> I don't know what you mean. It's just so boring. Perfect. Just gonna boss come over and then try for like a wave and then maybe tower two. Now I just got reset and then I do this. I can probably just like go shit mid and that will be good too. What are you doing? Turn it off! Just him. <laughs> turn it off! 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 Why are you screaming? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Because that's against the rules. Against what rules? The rules are it's only when I die you turn it on. No. Oh my god. Okay. Now we can get the inner tower and we're okay. What? No, 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 no! Oh my god, oh my god, okay. <laughs> okay, oh my god. The beat doesn't hurt. It actually doesn't hurt at all. <gasps> oh, no, 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 put it back on me. Put it back on me. Put it back. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm finally free. No, 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 I'm taking it off. No, I'm taking it off. I'm taking it off. Turn off, turn off, turn off. Oh my god. Ow. It was on my fingers. Ow. No, it's like I got taste. No, actually, turn off. Actually, turn off now. It's like. <laughs> no, I'm taking that. I'm, ta I'm taking it. No, that's enough. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. Uh, but anyway, so that being said, that is the first ever video 
of the new challenge series, one death equals one period cramp. If you guys did enjoy the salad video, be sure to leave a like, comment, uh, sub if you haven't already, because me and my editor, we are trying something new with this, and I just hope that it can be well received, and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making it. As much as I enjoyed making it. <laughs> But anyway, so that being said, I hope you guys all have a really, really, really great rest of the day. And, um, yeah, let me know if you guys want us to do another challenge. And for a challenge, what would you even want us to do? But uh, anyways, hope you guys have a great one. And I will see you all for the next video. Peace.